And then there's an unwritten rule that you expect them to be as committed if they're serious about their goals, but no one's ever gonna be as serious about your goals if you're not serious about their goals. I think when you communicate as a leader, you always have to use inspiration in the communication. You can't motivate other people, but you can inspire them. What you need to attract to you are people that are internally motivated that you can inspire that will take action to get the result that will allow them to elevate their belief about what's possible and pursue it at all costs because you're gonna need that. And I just believe that there's not enough people that are intentionally focused on trying to inspire other people to succeed versus being self-consumed. Now, it's one thing to have inspiration, but you also need to have discipline. If you don't have discipline in the business, then people can randomize. And when you have randomity in the business, you're in trouble because you never know what one thing's gonna lead to another. But then also you need accountability. There's just no point in saying you have discipline if you have no accountability. Accountability is the thing that you can rely on and your team can rely on to ensure that you're paying attention to the things that are important in the business and you've drawn it to their front of mind expectation so that you can make sure that you can multiply through your team because they complement and compound the results together. Now, a lot of people in business don't explain to their employees where they're going, why they're going there, what's in it for them. So I believe you need to have transparency. Like every single morning we do a report that talks about how much cash we collected month to date compared to the best two months we've ever had. So everyone on the team understands where the business is at in real time, because that way they can react with the protocols they have on how they can pull revenue or pull time forward if we're lagging in our result targets. So once you have transparency, you have to go to alignment. See, you can't ask people to do things for you. I think alignment is when you sit down with people and you're like, hey, what do you want to get out of this experience? If you come work with me and you're going to work hard and you're going to be dedicated and you're going to be committed, and I've never seen a, a better team be committed than the Grant Cardone 10X team across all of our organizations. We do 108 events a year. Everyone's always front of mind. Everyone's always pushing for the benefit of our clients and the people we serve. You can go in on any Saturday, any Sunday, even if there's no event at one of our headquarters around the country, and you're gonna find teams of people in there working, serving our clients. 24 seven, we take phone calls from clients if we're helping them. Our team is so committed to the success of the people we serve, but that's because leadership is committed. You're not gonna see all those events and not see us. You're not gonna show up and not have Grant Cardone leading the front. And then there's an unwritten rule that you expect them to be as committed if they're serious about their goals, but no one's ever gonna be as serious about your goals if you're not serious about their goals. So this alignment piece brings in yours and their goals and how you can accomplish it together. And this is the way you work around the statistics with Gallup poll. This is how you get people to put more energy into the business. Because when the business wins, they win. If the business is winning and they lose, you got a problem. And then results. There's no point in doing anything if you don't know what the results expectation is. My question for you is, if your team's not hitting targets, who in your business is all over it? Scale is maximizing what you have. Scaling is the rapid expansion of what you can prove works. And what happens with business owners is they start their business, they start to grow their business, they skip optimizing their business, and then they go straight into wanting to go to scaling the rapid expansion and growth. You see, that's why we have so many programs because it's a system, it's a process, something that was developed over 20, 30 years between Grant Cardone and myself and all the fabulous team members we have. There's no way we could run a three-day program and teach you how to start a business and grow it to 125 million without you spending the next 12 months or 15 months going through our programs, our workshops to learn how to put the pieces together. But the 10 pieces are strategy. You gotta have a strategy and then you gotta know how to market. And then when you know how to market, you gotta know how to sell. When you know how to sell, you gotta know how to add people. When you add people, you gotta understand your finances. When you understand your finances, you gotta understand how to create leverage through operations in your business. That takes strong leadership, the seventh element. The eighth element is you gotta know how to track data. Without data, you can't target and hit results. The ninth element's technology. How do you deploy it? When do you deploy it? What time, with what people, doing what, measuring what, and then the 10th is investment thesis. When should you invest in your business or your people or your technology? See, those are the 10 elements in growing and scaling a business. So obviously scale at each point of the break point when you're 1 million or 3 million or 5 million or 10 million, instead of trying to blow through, you need to test your systems. You need to understand there's a process to rapidly scaling and creating value. And when you're a smaller business, that process just needs to be active engagement with your team. 